from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, October the 24th, 2018. More incendiary devices were sent over the border fence from a Hamas post in Gaza into southern Israel today, sparking at least eight fires on the Israeli side. An Israeli Air Force aircraft struck the observation post in response. Meanwhile, a delegation of senior Egyptian intelligence officials entered Gaza today to meet with Hamas leader Ismail Haniya. More efforts from Cairo to negotiate a ceasefire from Gaza. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu spoke today at the Jewish Federations of North America's General Assembly taking place in Tel Aviv this week. The Prime Minister sat down for a question and answer session on issues such as the freezing of the compromise at the Western Wall, which he said would not be fully implemented, but that renovations to the egalitarian plaza at the Wall would be done and would be welcoming to all. I want Israel to be the home, and it is the home, of all Jews. I don't care if they're conservative, reform, orthodox, and I don't care if they're completely secular and non-believing. It's the home of every Jew. He also spoke of prospects for a two-state solution. I, I believe that the way uh, a potential solution is one in which the Palestinians have all the powers to govern themselves, but none of the powers to threaten us. And Netanyahu, together with the visiting vice president of China, led a joint innovation summit. The fourth annual Israel-China Innovation Conference was held today at Israel's foreign ministry in Jerusalem. Philadelphia's Holocaust Memorial Plaza was expanded and rededicated this week. The plaza, which is the first public memorial to the Holocaust in the United States, originally consisted of a monument to the Six Million dedicated in 1964. The new Horowitz Wasserman Holocaust Memorial Plaza features historical artifacts like original train tracks from the railroad adjacent to the Treblinka death camp. There are six pillars that show the contrast of Nazi-era beliefs with American values and multimedia content provided in partnership with the USC Shoah Foundation, which includes personal testimonials of Holocaust survivors. Well, Tel Aviv University is partnering with three Chicago universities to create a major innovation center in the Windy City. The Discovery Partners Institute, or DPI, is a project of Tel Aviv University with the University of Chicago, University of Illinois, and Northwestern. It will focus on research, entrepreneurship, and innovation education. DPI is expected to be completed by 2021. Israeli race car driver Alon Day has won the Euro NASCAR competition for the second time. The 2017 Euro NASCAR champion defended his title at the Circuit Zolder racetrack in Belgium on Sunday. Well, a British Israeli man has become the oldest Israeli to skydive. Walter Bingham, who was born in the Weimar Republic in 1924, was saved by the Kinder Transport. He later took part in the D-Day landings at Normandy in 1944, landing on the beaches as an ambulance driver. Earlier this year, Bingham received the Légion d'Honneur, France's highest award for his actions. The skydiving was a belated celebration of his 94th birthday. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, October the 24th at 7 o'clock, a look at the ethics of the IDF. At 8, we hear from the brother of slain IDF soldier Hadar Golden, whose remains are being held by Hamas in Gaza, Lieutenant Sur Golden, speaking at the JCC of Harrison, New York, in a program of the AJC Westchester Fairfield. At 9 o'clock tonight, Mark Golub sits down with Benjamin Anthony and Brigadier General Amir Avivi, who have founded an organization dedicated to replacing the two-state solution with the new state solution. Then at 10, a look at remarks from Dr. Jacques Gauthier on Jerusalem sovereignty. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, it's Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News update for Wednesday, October the 24th, 2018. I'm Tisha Bader.